Warp is now much more than a terminal and the 2.0 update makes it a complete AI agentic development environment. Warp started out as a AI powered terminal but it's now evolving into something much bigger and with this 2.0 launch they just reimagined what a terminal can be and trust me it's not just about running commands anymore. Warp 2.0 introduces four powerful pillars. First a smart context aware coding agent, second a multi-threaded agent management, third warp drive. A shared knowledge system that gives your team and your agents the context that they need to be actually be useful. And finally, placing fast modern terminal. You can literally go ahead and tell Warp exactly what you want to build in plain English or in your voice. And the AI agent within Warp will go ahead and code it, build it, execute it while you stay in full control. It doesn't just write code. It goes through an execution plan that you can approve, deny or even edit. And now Warp is optimized to work with larger code bases and even has multimodal input support. I mean you can go ahead and speak to Warp directly using your voice and build out things and you don't even have to touch your keyboard anymore if that's what you prefer. If you have tried AI IDs like let's say Cursor or Copilot or even played around with tools like Cloud Code, you'll quickly notice that Warp stands out. It's faster, it's smarter and built around your entire development workflow and it is not just about writing code anymore. And now there's a lot to talk about the newer version of Warp and today in this video I'll give you a complete walkthrough and also build something cool using Warp. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is the official website of Warp and the first thing that you gotta do is to head over to the first link in the description below and you land on this page right here. And now if I scroll all the way down, you'll quickly realize that Warp is available for Mac, Linux and Windows. So depending on your computer, you can go ahead and download the installer and once downloaded, you can go ahead and install the same. After installing here, I have opened up Warp and when you open Warp for the first time, this is how the interface will look like and this is where all the magic happens. And as you could probably already tell, Warp is now much more than a terminal and it is like a complete AI agentic development environment and you can find even more input options and there's a lot to talk about Warp. So first thing first, go ahead and download, install and open Warp. And now in the center itself, you can find an input box where you communicate with the AI telling exactly what you want to build or what you want to let's say run commands or let's say you want to deploy your app, find bugs, test it. Whatever be that you want to do, you can simply go ahead and put that in here and press enter and the AI agent will start working on it. And now as you can see, it says code, ask, build or run commands. So this is where you go ahead and prompt and towards the bottom, you can find a couple of these options. First of all, we have terminal. So if you want to exclusively use the terminal, you can put it in terminal mode. Then we have the agent mode, which is what I'm super excited about. Or you can go ahead and put it in the auto detection option right here. And based on the prompt that you give, the AI will intelligently select either terminal mode or agent mode. And as mentioned earlier, Warp now supports multi-model input. That means you can go ahead and press this voice input option right here and speak your prompt and it will write everything out for you so you don't have to uh, touch your keyboard or you can even go ahead and attach images. For example, let's say you are looking to design a stunning looking website and you already have screenshot references or mockup ready. So you can simply go ahead and drop it in here and have warp generate a code or let's say convert it into code automatically. And you also have this option called as auto. And if I click on that one, I'll be able to select the specific AI model that I want to use. So as you can see, here we have a couple of these options like Cloud for Sonnet 3.7 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, O3 and even Gemini 2.5 Pro. For now, I'll keep it as auto. So the AI will go ahead and pick the best AI model that works the best. Okay. So this is the basic, uh, you know, UI of warp. And if I click on this button right here, I can find the warp drive and I can go ahead and create a team, invite people to be a part of this team. And next up, I can go ahead and add a folder, workflow, prompt, notebook, environment variables or anything else in this workflow. And the AI agent and also other people in my team can go ahead and access all of that so that I can work on the same project with all the resources and the AI agent will have pretty much everything in its context. And towards the bottom, you also find a couple of these options like adding MCP server. Yes, Warp support MCP right now. So you can go ahead and click on this button right here. Click on this add tool option and you can go ahead and add and configure a MCP server. Okay, so that's there. And if you want to add custom rules, you have options for that. You can go ahead and put rules in here. I mean, Warp is now a full fledged AI agentic development environment. And okay, so let's say I want to build a Next.js based project. So I want to build a real time voice transcription app in Next.js using Warp or let's say AI. So all I got to do is to open Warp and I can put my cursor in here and maybe I'll enable this voice input option just like that. I want to build a AI powered real time voice transcription website that uses open AI under the hood. So I want to build the website in Next.js and app router. So basically how it works is that the user goes ahead and presses a record button on a website 
and speaks whatever stuff that they want to and as soon as they press the stop button our app uses open ai to transcribe the entire content and nicely display it on the screen so that is the initial functionality that i want to implement in my website so let's get started with the same so i want you to set up a fresh nextjs based project and start implementing all the features that i asked and now i can press this button right here and now as you can see warp itself has gone ahead and captured everything that is spoken and filled it for me so i did not even have to touch my keyboard so the ai just went ahead and filled in everything for me so i don't even have to use an app like let's say whisper flow or echo voice i can just go ahead and directly speak to the ai so it says i want to build an ai powered real time voice transcription website i mean you already heard that okay so this is the initial prompt i'll give and now i kept it in the auto mode and it has already selected the agent mode okay so this is the initial prompt i'll give and now i'll go ahead and hit enter so the ai will go ahead and go through the thinking process and start working on it and as you can see it says i'll help you build a ai powered real time voice transcription website using nextjs and open ai let me start by setting up a fresh nextjs project and now as you can see the ai is asking me the permission before running any command so i'll simply go ahead and click on this run button and now the ai agent within warp is creating a fresh new nextjs installation so let's wait till it is done all right so it says let's now navigate to the project directory and install necessary dependencies for open ai integration all right so looks good okay it is asking indexing helps agents quickly understand the context all right so i'll enable the same maybe i can close it for now okay so now the ai is installing the open ai package and it is creating a environment variable file for storing our open ai api key and also creating a api route for audio transcription using open ai all right so it is continuing the process so we will wait till it is done and now if i go ahead and expand any of these I'll be able to find all the code that the AI has wrote. So this right here is the voice transcriber.tsx file and I can review and find all the code that the AI has wrote for me. So this is yet another one. So it has actually fixed a syntax error. All right. So as you can see, it says the build is successful. Let's start the development server. And there you go. I can now open this link right here to open the development server. So let me quickly go ahead and open it up. All right, so let's wait. So this right here is the basic look of our app for now. And by the way, this is not functional now because we have not implemented or let's say added our environment variables. And for that, what I'll do is I'll keep this development server running in here. And now I'll go ahead and open a new tab in here. And now it must be already, yeah, it is already in that project. And now I can go ahead and grab my open AI API key. So I'll quickly go ahead and let's say log in to my account, go to your profile. API keys and I'll create a new one and I can maybe call it as let's say voice demo create a project and click on create secret key I'll copy the same and now I can head back and I'll go ahead and say could you please add my open AI API key to the dot env file here is the key so I want the AI agent to add that so I can go ahead and hit enter and let's see I know if you don't feel like passing the API key directly to let's say the AI, you can simply go ahead and open the .env.local file and manually paste it as well. So let's wait. Okay, it feels maybe I'll go ahead and stop it. Okay, so there's one thing that I want to do. So I'll go ahead and say it is actually .env.local, right? So I can go ahead and say .env.local and I'll go ahead and execute it again. All right, so let's see. As you can see the .env file already exists so initially i just mentioned .env so in nextjs we don't have .env but .env.local and now yet another interesting bit is that when you're using warp you can go ahead and open multiple agents to run a lot of tasks in parallel so as you can see in here i have this let's say our okay so our development server is running in this instance right here and here i'm asking the ai to sort of include my open ai api key in the .env.local file and as you can see this is one of the important features that I've been talking about. Even while you're using AI for developing your app, you stay in full control. So right now I have enabled the diff mode. So that means whenever the AI is making changes to an existing file, it will go ahead and ask you permission. And if you feel like that's not how you want to implement it, you can go ahead and either re refine it, cancel it, or even edit it. And now if you feel like that's okay, you can go ahead and approve by clicking on this apply changes button right here. And as you can see, the open AI API key is now added, okay? And next up, before we continue further, let's say I want to make this app look a bit more modern and I also want to develop a landing page and then we'll go ahead and try out the actual functionality of transcribing the content. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open a different instance 
and this time around i'll click on this input option and i'll go ahead and say could you please create a sleek looking landing page for our app based on the screenshot that i attached so i want you to create the landing page at the root of the project and then move the current voice recorder or let's say voice transcription app to slash app and next step i have the option to attach a image so maybe i can head over to let's say dribble.com and after that i can maybe go ahead and search for some landing page designs so i can go ahead and search for landing page on dribble and then go through all these designs and let's say i found a design now all i gotta do is to click on that one and i can go ahead and save that image by right clicking and clicking on save images and now i have already downloaded two images so what i'll do is i'll click on this button right here that says attach image i can go ahead and select both of these images so these two are the image and i'll click on the open button and now i have attached both these images and now i'm explicitly asking the ai to refer to the attached screenshot and create a similar looking landing page for our app based on the design color and all that in the photo that we attached and now we'll go ahead and hit enter and let's wait okay maybe i can close that and now the ai is thinking so let's wait so the ai will first go through and analyze the current project structure and as you can see the ai agent is asking us the permission to run each and every command every time right so i can click on run i will show you how you can soon change that so that the ai itself can take all the decision on behalf of us so if you want that obviously so i'll click on run all right so as you can see it says now i'll create a new landing page based on the screenshot the design has a dark gradient background with purple and blue tones modern ui elements and section for different features okay so let's wait anyways all right so there you go the ai has went ahead and wrote the code for creating the landing page and it is well over 200 lines of code and now the ai agent is asking us the permission to apply all these changes so if you want to you can go ahead and review all this code so that you stay in total control for now i'll go ahead and click on this apply changes option but the thing is every time the ai goes ahead and writes a piece of code or let's say make same changes it will go ahead and ask our permission so i don't want that i want the ai to do everything for me on behalf of me so what i'll do is i'll head over to this option right here and click on settings and if i move over to ai right here and if i scroll down you can find permissions in here and the first one is called as apply code diffs and it is always ask as of now so i'll switch it over to agent decides and then maybe also for executing commands i'll go ahead and say agent decides so what happens is that next time onwards when the ai wants to run let's say run a command or let's say want to update a file or anything the ai agent itself will decide whether or not to ask me so i can sit simply and just prompt and let the ai do everything for me so i can apply changes for this as well and next time onwards everything will be taken care of by the ai all right so right now as you can see the ai agent is not asking me to approve any command or let's say anything as such it is automatically running all these commands for me and now this right here is the landing page that the ai has created for us based on the screenshot that we uploaded all right so ai driven solutions with voice recognition i mean you can total you have total control over everything that's happening on this landing page and you can go ahead and ask the ai to modify each individual part for now i'll let this boilerplate content stay there and now that we have a sleek looking landing page next up let's just go ahead and work on developing the actual voice transcription app and for that i'll go ahead and let's say i can go ahead and say the landing page looks good next up go ahead and implement the actual voice transcription app at the slash app directory and make it functional i have already added my open ai api key in the dot env dot local file all right so that looks good and now i can go ahead and hit enter and as you can see the ai is currently working on implementing the voice transcription app right and now another cool thing is that i can go ahead and open another instance and then ask the ai to do something else so that means i can parallelly run multiple ai agents to do multiple things in the same project for example let's say i want to create a about page in my app so i can go ahead and say create a about page for our app in the slash about uh, route so basically we want to give some information about our app what the app does and the founder and some other details like that and now i can go ahead and hit enter so in this instance right here the ai is trying to create the app okay the core app that is the voice transcriber app and this one right here is actually going ahead and creating the about page and in a similar fashion you can go ahead and have any number of you know agents working in parallel doing different tasks so one in one you can maybe run your development server in another one you can go ahead and ask the ai to implement a core feature of your app and in another one you can go ahead and ask the ai to create let's say a page and you can go ahead and open yet another one and maybe you can go ahead and ask the ai to sort of test a api route within your application 
to make sure everything is working and it is bug free. I mean, you can parallelly run multiple AI agents and that itself is like a biggest USP of using warp and now I'll wait for it. And one more thing is that you can go ahead and click on this button that is the rocket button that says agents and you'll be able to find all these agents that are currently running parallelly. And as you can see, these two agents have completed their task and these two are waiting for our input or let's say is currently in progress. So you can go ahead and visually manage all these AI agents by clicking on this button here as well. And also one more thing to notice is that we have essentially enabled the YOLO mode kind of a setting in warp. So it means the AI will go ahead and run all these prompts all by itself, make all the changes without we having to do anything. So there you go. And next up, maybe I'll go ahead and head over to the app directory or app route. And there you go. Here we have a AI voice transcriber and let's see. Okay. All right, so in here we actually have, okay, the AI is trying to create the about page, okay? So we'll wait for it to complete. And if I go ahead and click on this record button right now, let's see what happens. I can click on allow. So this right here is a sample voice that I'm recording to see if the voice transcription uh, feature that we implemented is working. And now I can click on the stop button and let's see. It says AI is transcribing your audio and it seems like we have some error in here. So it says failed to transcribe audio and please try again. All right, so what I'll do is I'll right click and click on inspect and head over to console and I should be able to see the error that you're facing. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy the content from the console and next step I can head back. Okay, we can actually find all these in options in here. So I'll go ahead and say, maybe I can stop. All right, so the thing is the AI has actually found out the error all by itself. It analyzed the content in the uh, terminal and has actually found out the error I guess so the AI is trying to fix it automatically so let's wait so I was about to copy the console log content and paste it in the uh, agent and ask it to you know sort of fix it but the AI agent itself has automatically figured out the error and has fixed it for me so let me quickly go ahead and give it a try so we are developing a AI powered voice transcriber app and this right here is a sample audio that are recording to see if the voice transcription feature is working. I'll click on stop and let's see. All right, so there you go. So we are developing a AI powered voice transcriber app and yeah, this writer is a sample audio. And as you can see, whatever stuff that I spoke has actually been transcribed and is being shown on the screen right now. So this writer is yet another one. Okay, so everything is indeed working. So our voice transcription feature is indeed working. And as you can see, everything works. I can find all the API routes and it's all 200. Everything is good to go. And in parallel, we actually went ahead and had asked the AI to sort of create an about page as well, right? Seems like that's also done. So I can visit the about page and let's see. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So the AI has actually maintained the visual consistency and also maintained the styling and everything else as well. So this is how simple and powerful it is, right? And now Warp used to be a terminal and it's now much more than a terminal. It is like a all-in-one AI powered AI agentic development environment. It's like a coding platform to be honest. And next up, let's just say you want to push this into a GitHub repo. You can go ahead and ask the AI to do it. Or let's say you want to deploy it. You can go ahead and ask the AI to do it. I mean, you have total control over everything, right? And next up, if I want to, let's say, add any new features, I can straight away go ahead and ask Warp to do it and it will gladly do it for me. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to use Warp to develop an application. And now whatever be that, that you want to develop, whether it be a front end, a back end, a API route or any other app for that matter, you can simply go ahead and prompt your way out there. So you can simply go ahead and tell exactly what you want to build, what features to include and press enter. And now the AI agent right within Warp will go ahead and develop it for you. And the best part, you can go ahead and upload an image for, as reference or even use your voice so you don't have to type anything. So you simply go ahead and speak exactly what you want to build and now the AI agent will do it for you. And now since Warp supports parallel processing, that is you can go ahead and open multiple AI agents parallelly and give individual tasks to each of these AI agents and they can run it individually and do it as well. So you can actually go ahead and reduce the development work time as well. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. You can go ahead and click the first link in the description below and you can go ahead and download and start using Warp right away. And they do have a generous free plan. So you can go ahead and test it out as well. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.